So I'm starting out this video quite early because I want to have it ready in time for Turkey Trial this year, which if everything lined up, it should be live right now. Get out of my face, little phoenix. It should be live right now, which means that the murder turkeys are back once more to wreak havoc on the Ark, and we need to stop them. We need to collect their wishbones and potentially get ourselves a Dodo Rex. Although I have no idea what I'm going to use it for this year. We'll, we'll try and figure out something cool, though. Anyway, before we do any of that, before the turkey trial hits, I want to have really, really OP manic armors. And I've already actually tamed a few, and I have some okay-ish stats, but I need some better stats. So basically what we got to do is we got to look for some manas. And currently this is the only map I have on my cluster that has them. I know they're on the Lost Island as well, but haven't added that just yet. So the plan today is I'm going to start out by grabbing some of these guys and then we'll do a bunch of mutating over the next couple weeks and hopefully have it all ready in time for Turkey Trial to just laser beam these things out of existence because manas are pretty much one of the best creatures to take out hello to take out uh the the turkeys with uh you are a bad level okay we're gonna have a lot of that this is extinction usually the levels are not as good over here you can find way more low levels than than high levels and in general there's not even that many of these guys over here as well this is gonna be painful i'm gonna need a different creature to take these guys out because uh they are very very jumpy maybe i could just shotgun him instead there we go i'm hardly even hitting okay but yeah, so when we do actually have one found, uh, what do I want to use? Okay, we better not use that. No! No! No, 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 Are you kidding me? No, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. That right there is a Krylophosaurus, and it's from our conditions. I, I don't want to mess with that thing right now. Um, <laughs> God damn it, dude. But yeah, anyway, when we have a, one of these guys uh, found, we, we could use our net gun to trap it, of course. Is it dead? Okay, great. The whole party's over as soon as I grab my shotgun. Uh, and I'm still kind of frozen, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, we can use the net gun to trap them real quick. And then I should be able to knock it out super quick using my, um, using my, uh, tech bow. That's another bad level. We got to kill this thing as well. Uh, oh my god, they're just so jumpy, though. I love them. These are great creatures. They, they were much better before the nerf, but they're still actually pretty good. Like, even though their movement is way more restricted nowadays, they are still really, really good. Anyway, guys, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. And uh, yeah, this is uh, this is gonna be a lot of me just taming these guys for a bit, and I'll probably just bring you guys back once we actually find a high level, and then we'll probably skip ahead a little bit. Hello, okay, yeah, I might as well just wait for him to land. Where the hell did he even go? Okay, it jumped away, but there's a 174 here, and it was fighting some wolves. I don't know where it went. It was like right there. Unfortunately, I'd already stopped recording. I don't know if it died. I feel like it probably jumped away. Let me go take a quick look up here. Uh, that could be it up there, potentially. Yeah, it was just like fighting some wolves, so I just quickly scrambled to uh, try to get the aggro and then hit record uh let's see oh my god dude <laughs> these things oh i love them but like god damn that is frustrating there's no chance of me even managing to what the what is he doing <laughs> what is he doing how is he doing that that's so confusing i don't even know if this is the correct one <laughs> did i like bug him out he like headbutted me and now oh where wait wait, wait, wait. How... hang on a second how far is he gonna go is he falling? Okay, he's falling. Okay, wait, that actually could be him. Is that the one? That's the 174. Okay, perfect. Okay, I think my plan right now, we'll just net it. <gasps> Crap, the wolves are like right on it. Oh, no, come here, come here. No, 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 no. No. Let me try and pull the aggro. We'll just pull them over here. Okay, there's like a couple more wolves here. Here we go. Get that one. Get, uh, I need this one. Come here, buddy. Hey, 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 right here, right here. Come here, come on and there you go perfect do headshots count what the hell why did that not wait what what is happening oh is he technically not where he looks like he is okay he's technically here i feel like he's out and i didn't screw it up very nice all right sweet so um yeah <laughs> well there we go we have a 174 knocked out how many shots was that again i feel like it was like six i don't know maybe i'll just pull the footage just to see so then i'll have like a good idea of how many hits i should be making they go out very very quick and my, my tech bow is pretty good to be honest what does it have like i think it's like 440 damage pretty amazing that's not even crafted is it where the hell did i get that hey there we go nice yeah, that didn't really take too long and it already drained down by like a bunch of food to the point where I was able to eat three pieces immediately. So, all right. So, uh, yeah, very average stats. Nothing actually peaking up there at all, unfortunately. So that is a dud. Just gonna go ahead and leave it on the floor. 
<laughs> all right well anyway yeah it's gonna be a lot of this we might get some good ones we might get some bad ones i might need a mutagen who knows we'll see but uh yeah it's gonna be a lot of this i'll catch you guys in a little while with all of the final results oh we got like a dead mana right here oof oh okay wow well there we go guys uh 51 points into the melee and this is the second one i've tamed so that's pretty amazing i'll probably end up going with that as the actual melee stat that's dope we just need a really high stamina and a decent health as well and then we should be good man that is a really nice mana though god damn we got something flying in there it is okay so it's a few days later and we have some more manas to check out so here's what we've got let me just pull this up so this is the latest one that i got because i was not getting any good health stats and i finally managed to pull this just a few minutes ago it is 54 points into health which is incredible coming in at just barely under uh 10k from uh from the get-go which is just really really amazing uh in terms of stamina though we have 55 points even better and uh that's coming in at just under 2k just in general these two stats i'll probably also mutate but i did actually manage to get a good weight stat along the way i got 52 points which is pretty amazing and then we have that 51 points into melee didn't get anything better than that unfortunately but yeah you guys know the drill we're gonna be breeding these guys for a few weeks um i think uh thanksgiving is usually around my birthday um and i think the event usually starts a couple days beforehand so i should have everything ready before the event actually gets started and uh yeah we'll skip ahead to when the event is ready and i have these mana armors ready as well all right well here we are many days later after turkey trial started it started on tuesday it is now saturday and um i have some excuses uh number one uh the new pokemon game came out last week and i've been playing a lot of that over the last couple days especially and it's really really good i like it a lot i got scarlet we'll talk about that in a minute another thing wednesday was my birthday you know like i felt like you know i gotta take that day off and i turned 28 by the way thank you for all the well wishes and everything you know what no there's really no excuse it's been absolutely days i've just been so hooked on the new pokemon we'll talk about it but i do have my, my mammoth in the sky over there. By the way, when I was setting up the shot, it almost looked like a little mammoth chibi on my shoulder right there. <laughs> so hilarious looking. I love when people question Sky Mammoth. Never question Sky Mammoth. It's not something you can just question, guys. It's it's either you get it or you don't. I, don't, I just I can't explain it any better than that. Anyway, um, yeah, we, we have the, the manic armor. And I've had this thing ready for weeks. I just had to paint up its saddle real quick. By the way, kept the really cool name that I've always loved for these things, Jump Drive. And... There it is in all of its glory. I absolutely love the look of this thing. I can tell you right now, though, uh, the scales for the manas, I, I did not like trying to have to do that. Um, yeah, the, the scales kind of have like a weird thing with color. They, they usually don't show exactly what you're getting. And by the way, when I'm talking about scales, I'm talking about like this stuff right here, like these kind of like glowy bits that you'd get on, on little like beanie babies or something you i mean you probably know what i mean anyway yeah that kind of stuff was super annoying to have to deal with because i literally every single color i was getting was showing up super weird looking but i feel like i got a good balance it does change color a little bit from like blue to purple which is exactly what i kind of wanted but uh yeah just in general we got some nice dark blue as the fur we've got some like psychedelic looking purple i love that by the way we've got that as like the um the headpiece i guess and part of the wings as well uh, and then we've got this like blue going through as like the veins or something and then that's also on the arms as well and then for the rest of the arms because part of the wings are just cyan you can't do anything about that like the rest of the glowy bits at the back here uh so i had to get something that matched with that so i just got like a dark teal and i think it looks pretty good and i did go ahead and paint up the saddle and i actually had a really good saddle by the way um again another thing i've just had for a long time i guess i have no idea when or where we got this Again, maybe you guys might understand where I'm getting this stuff. Honestly, like, the series has been going on for so long. Two years. Like, I'm not going to remember where I get absolutely every single amazing saddle. But it's pretty good. 140 armor is absolutely amazing. Anyway, how much damage does this thing actually do? Because I haven't even gotten a chance to test it out yet. As you can see, it's not level, but it is imprinted and... 80... Oh, okay, yeah. I forgot Anki's do, like, spaghetti tail. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, that's a little bit more than I thought. You know what, buddy? You're just showing off at this point. I can't do that. I wish I could do that. Buddy, okay. You know what? Let's just put him to rest. There we go. Um, Yeah, Ankies are just like the one creature in Ark that just... They don't want physics to exist anymore. Anyway, uh, yeah. 83... Oh, wait, no. I'm doing 85 now. Wait, how much am I actually doing? It's either 83 or 85. I'm not exactly sure which one is the true damage number. I mean, maybe... 
It could be, I guess it can't be both really. I, I know that the way that these things work is you kind of have to be like close to something when you're damaging it. Let me, oh my God, I forgot how fast these things can be when you imprint them. Let me run over to like a parser or something and we can kind of just demonstrate this a little bit. So we can hit them from here, but I'm doing zero damage. We got to get super close to actually start dealing a bunch of damage. And when we get really, really close, that's when we can just deal pretty much his max damage. And I'm seeing a lot of 83s, although we did get an 85, so. That's got to be in there somewhere. I'm seeing like a mix of 83 and 85 right there. Very interesting. How much for a flyer? A little bit more. Anyway, that's obviously really, really good, but we can make these things even more powerful because it's been sitting in a ball for ages. By the way, maxed out its health, maxed out its stamina, maxed out its melee. And uh, you know what? I'll just show you it real quick just so you can kind of take a little look at this. I want to stop showing off the stats for like two years. Oh my God. Wow. We're having some laggities there. I'm going to stop showing off the stats for so long, but uh, there you go. I'll zoom in. You can pause if you need to. And yeah, so we've got a really, really powerful mana armor right here, of course. And um, I didn't completely max max out its stamina just in case I wanted to pump in some levels, uh, which I don't think I will need to, but at least it's good for me to know at this point. All right, let's just, I'm going to just pump in the rest. I, I want to see how powerful this thing will and can actually be. It's not even maxed level. How many levels did we even put in there? It was like 57 or something like that. I want to see... Not these guys. These guys are way too difficult to deal with. <laughs> the Dinotheriums are everywhere. Like a beautiful, amazing creature from our conditions, a mod. But oh my god, they are so difficult to deal with. Oh wow, okay. I see 164 in there. I feel like that's the true damage. How much for a flyer? Boom. That's probably not even the true damage on that. Unless, I don't know if it actually is. How close do you have to be to the flyer? I don't want to get that close to a moth because it's going to poop on my face. And that doesn't look very good to breathe in. Let me check it out on a Bronto. Let's go right up into this Bronto's face right there. Uh, I guess that's his face. Never mind. But, um, yeah. Oh, my God. Wow. Okay. That's some amazing damage. I mean, uh, yeah, I should have expected that. Damn. Okay. Uh, that, that damage is really, really good. Huh. Okay, then. <laughs> Fair enough. That damage is amazing. By the way, that's the headshot damage right there. 3, uh, 28. The, uh, the damage that we're doing with melee attacks is, is honestly incredible. I mean, I should have expected that, but, like, goddamn. I mean, to be fair, the DPS on this thing, like, we'd be able to deal way more damage by just spraying its breath at something for five seconds. You know, even the attack speed, it's very quick, as you can see. But the DPS on this is just, like, it's a laser beam. That's realistically what it is at the end of the day. Uh, we basically almost could have gotten that guy if I had to be in position a little bit better. Let me talk a little bit about what we need to do now. Uh, the trickies are here, I think. I haven't seen any. I just enabled the event. Um, I don't have them enabled automatically on my servers, just in case. But, yeah, uh, I know that we actually have some wishbones left over from last year. Uh, I did have some wish... What the hell? Did they get wiped? Dude, I legitimately had some in here. What? I had... that Like, they were here not even, like, two, three weeks ago. I could have sworn I had some in here. All right, well, anyway, I guess maybe they must have wiped them and created a new version Great. I feel like it was like 70 or something. I don't know. They definitely don't spoil. Not that quick anyway. All right. Whatever. It's fine. I did have some wishbones, but that's okay. Uh, in terms of new items, I don't think there's really anything that's super amazing. I mean, this is pretty hilarious, but I'm pretty sure that's from last year. No, that's that's not even a hat. That's actually a candy. Cool. Uh, this is hilarious as well. The little costume. We've already checked out a lot of the stuff. And to be honest, I, I've kind of lost touch with a lot of these like shirt cosmetics and stuff. They're really cool looking. Don't get me wrong, but... You know, and I appreciate the effort that does go into them, but it, I just, I'm not that interested in checking them out every single time because, like, there's, like, 20 billion different types of shirts, and it's uh, it's really hard to keep track of. I do love this turkey hat, though. But this right here, the prized uh, Dodo Rex summoning token, which will allow us to keep it for, I believe it is 30 minutes, I'm pretty sure. It's got 666 health. Well, 666k health, and um, that's obviously pretty amazing, so... Yeah, I'm really excited to use that thing once again. I think the year before last, our first year with this event, we, on the cluster, obviously, I think we took it in and maybe fought a forest titan, I believe, I think, or maybe it was an ice titan. I can't exactly remember. Uh, we did one or the two. Uh, and then last year, I remember we fought a, a uh, what was it, the Savage Acro from Arc Editions as well. Um, unfortunately, no more Savage bosses to check out this year, but... Just in general, though, I mean, like, we can still have fun with it. I'm not exactly sure what I want to do with it just yet, but we'll, we'll figure something out. We will definitely make use of it. I do have one little idea. I, I wonder if you can use it to tame a Karch, and it would probably instant tame the Karch as well, wouldn't it? 
feel like it definitely would. I just heard a turkey. There it is right there. Okay, perfect. So this is why you want to use manas. And obviously my one's super OP, but let's just ignore that fact. Let me just hit him like once. Oh, okay. Well, that's the headshot damage right there. Now, when you're aiming at the turkeys, you want to aim just slightly above their, their butt, basically. Um, their little butt feathers. Did we just get five from him? What the hell? We just got five from one turkey? I thought they only give two. Did something change? Are they being more generous? Arc devs. You shouldn't have. Well, oh my god, this turkey's got some crazy colors. Look at this little guy. Yeah, don't mess with them. Don't mess with these things. They're Okay, I thought he was coming for me. I was actually kind of just slightly frightened right there. Um these things are dangerous, man. You, you don't want to mess with them. They can have anywhere between I think it's like 14k to like 27, almost 30k health. It's very random depending on how many health points they get in those 250 levels, but you want to aim right above their head with a mana. Get them to run at you as well. W watch this. I mean like Look at this. Boom. We just lasered him. Now, even with a super not OP mana, we could still easily take down this guy, like, fairly quickly. Now, I, they definitely made this more easier, because, like, this... We didn't we didn't get five last year. Definitely. We did, we did not get five last year. I don't think that has anything to do with my harvest rates on here. I really, really, really doubt it would, but on the off chance that I am incorrect, and it does have something to do with that, then I'm sorry for spreading misinformation. But yeah, I've got 2.5 times gather rates and yeah, like that that potentially could be because of that. I don't know, man. Maybe you guys can let me know because I have no idea. I don't play with one times rates on official or anything. Um, yeah. Anyway, well, there you go. I, I really doubt it has anything to do with that. But you know what? It's, it's fine. I'm sure everybody will uh, correct me down in the comments or agree with me down in the comments, depending on on what side it actually is anyway um yeah let's uh let's see if we can find some more of these guys valkyro is my favorite map to hunt for these guys honestly i feel like the white cliff area especially the sand down here super easy to spot them now i didn't do a dino wipe uh i might do one i'm not sure if i will or not but you know your best bet is to just probably just run around just killing a bunch of things especially the dodos i feel like they share spawns with dodos just in general so run around just kill any dodos that you have and even a low-ish level mana garmer with not even that much pumped into its uh its melee mainly its stamina because you want to keep the breath going but even a low level mana can just laser beam these things it might take you one or two breaths to actually fully kill them but uh you should be able to do it everything else though kind of does really bad damage i'll demonstrate that in a second because i want to test out the karch i want to see if the karch is anything is is any in any way good to actually get these guys and we can already see another one right there in fact i'm actually gonna wait i gotta make sure i grab all the wishbones right uh yeah i already have actually i'm gonna go ahead and grab these as well because we always need those uh let me quickly just see the uh the health in this little fella over here hello buddy you were dinner for a lot of people this week there we go Twenty thousand health okay yeah, so they can have very, like, varied, um, you know, health stat and, and everything, you know, like, it's not always going to be exactly that amount, but they can have up to, I think it's 25 to, like, 30k-ish. Anyway, let's, uh, let's see. Is the Karch any good at taking out these dudes? We're still doing an absolute crap ton of damage, and obviously, uh, with its little, uh, effect right there, the turkey's not going to be able to heal super quick. Now, Karch's Gigas, obviously, also really, really good at taking out the turkeys, definitely would recommend them anything else though i'll demonstrate with uh with something else what else do we have we have sh shadow mains here i guess i can use one of those real quick next time we find a turkey but just for reference like that's kind of how much damage my guy usually is doing although he's getting more and more damage right now so it i guess just in general it doesn't decrease the amount of damage from a karch i could have sworn it does from a giga though right maybe this is different. I don't know. We got to do a little bit of testing here. Yeah, not too many of them. I'll just do a dino wipe. Like, I normally don't bother doing this, but we'll do it just for the sake of the video. I mean, official servers get dino wiped, right? I'm pretty sure they do. I totally left behind five wishbones in this karch bag earlier. Let's grab those real quick. There we go. Nice. Um, it, It's fine. <laughs> anyway, let me uh, let me quickly show you how much damage we do on normal creatures with the shadow main and uh, this this is my amazing shadow main super super leveled super mutated absolutely incredible damage we can get up to with this thing uh let me show you it on a turkey which i spot i oh, oh my god look at that blue turkey oh it's beautiful oh that is the most amazing looking turkey ever we've got event colors obviously right now so that's super cool anyway this is how much damage we do yeah terrible we're doing like a tenth of the amount of damage i normally do that's absolutely awful. 
Uh, so this is why shadow mains are not good at taking out turkeys. Let me show you the Giga. So bear in mind, my Giga has got max melee mutations and a crap ton of levels. Yeah, that's obviously going to be really good, but not everybody's going to have one of these. Oh, that's different. I got four this time. Why did I get four this time? And I got five, three other times. Interesting. Well, just in general, I mean, if, if four or five is kind of like the average, it's, it's still a lot less than last year. It was totally two last year, right? I could have sworn like all these years it's been two and I've had to kill like 200 turkeys or something. Or maybe I'm making all this up and I'm just going loopy in my old age. Um, <laughs> anyway, back to the mana. You know, you, you can kind of just see these other creatures are obviously going to be really good. But again, mana, super fast. You know, like we're going, we're running around really, really fast searching for these turkeys. And uh, even if I didn't have that damage capability, I'm still this fast and I'm still able to take out turkeys. I mean, skip back a couple years and you'll see me just laser beaming these things with an unmutated mana. I'm pretty sure even last year I was doing that as well. Yeah, I, I, I've only just started the mana mutations uh, right like now, I guess, over these last few weeks. So yeah, um, <laughs> the, the manas over the last couple years are a good example of why you should be using manas to take out the turkeys. But uh, if you don't have access to them, gigas, other big things like that, pretty good. Uh, but the turkeys, um, they, uh, they're kind of scary though. Don't, don't mess with them. You know, if you see them out and about, you don't have something good, don't mess with them. You, you'll, you'll regret it. The, the murder turkeys are serious business and, um, and there's like literally none of them right here since the, since the dino wipe. All right, I'm leaving. I'm, I'm going to go, I'm going to go look where, somewhere else. I don't know. We've got to figure it out. Uh, you can turn down, uh, ground clutter. Where is that again? Uh, ground clutter density. There we go. We'll just turn that down completely. That's going to help you find the turkeys a lot easier, especially in like grassy areas like this. That's why I was saying the beach is super easy to see them in. Cause obviously, you know, the, the beach doesn't have grass everywhere like this, but even in like an area like this, you can turn down your ground clutter and just run around and you should be able to find them. Um, but for me right now, they are not as common. I wonder, did they change something? Cause they were way more common last year. But yeah. I'm going to keep my ground clutter off and just continue uh, searching around this area. In fact, skip ahead two minutes. If you don't want to hear me talking about Pokemon, those new Pokemon games, guys. Oh my God. I got Scarlet. It's really, really good. I I'm really enjoying it. I didn't enjoy the last generation, but I did enjoy Arceus. I do play all these games, by the way, I've been playing Pokemon since I could hold a Game Boy, I guess. I don't know. This is probably like five or something. Like these these games came out with my generation. Like I came up with these games, basically. Um, I didn't play fourth gen when I was growing up, but I did jump into fifth gen. Uh, and then, yeah, I've been playing since. Didn't enjoy seventh. Didn't really enjoy eighth the first time I tried to play it. Um, but I've really enjoyed this one. Definitely really, really good. Uh, not gonna make videos on it, by the way. Uh, I see that being questioned quite a lot all the time. Uh, not really interested in doing that. Um, this is kind of my, my my game that I just want to play and enjoy without the pressure of, you know, being entertaining. I, basically, what I'm trying to say is I want to I want to be able to just like double chin it uh, on my bed, just you know, staring, looking for different uh, colored Pokemon that will be shinies. And speaking of shinies, I've gotten absolutely tons, and it's amazing. That is a beautiful looking Anki. I feel bad doing this. There we go. I'm sorry, buddy. That is very, very beautiful though. Holy crap. That is amazing looking. Anyway, yeah. So uh, really, really good games though. Uh, I'm really enjoying it. And the raids have been fun. I don't know. Uh, it's It's been great. I completed it. I completed the Pokedex. It's, it's amazing. I've been playing way too much of it. I should probably play less, but you know what? It's fine. I got to treat myself occasionally, <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, uh, back to the turkeys. The two minutes is up. You can, you can click back in. Uh, we've got 44 so far. I'm going to continue doing this for a good long while. Uh, probably not going to take as long as it usually does. I mean, we're already a tenth of the way there. And part of that time was pretty much spent walking around after a dino wipe. So there should be a bunch of them down here at this point. I mean, let me just run up this direction. Then we'll run back that direction and see how many we get. So as I continue my slaughter of all things that gobble, I want to talk to you guys about some crazy offers that my channel partners have going on right now for Black Friday. Uh, so first of all, G Portal, bring in their discount code all the way up to 50%, 5 up from the usual 10%, which is honestly really insane. So if you're looking to pick up some ARC servers, I would say right now is a good time. And you know what? You can buy them for like, I think you can buy a subscription for like a full year if you wanted to and just save a bunch of money. Do whatever you want to do. But yeah, they are super cheap right now. That offer is going to end on Tuesday, the 29th. So uh, get them while they're hot. There's always a discount link down below and, and that will lead you straight to that lovely, lovely 50% discount off 
Uh, that is incredible, honestly. <laughs> oh my god, they're absolutely crazy over there. And also, we have a really, really great offer from Apex Gaming PCs as well, bringing their usual 5% off discount up to 15% off, 1-5. And that offer is going to last all the way up to Wednesday, the 30th. So um, yeah, if you wanna if you wanna get servers uh, to play Ark, and if you wanna pick up an actual PC to play Ark, you can do so uh, with major discounts. Um, all those links are always down below. So if you're ever curious, uh, check them out. But uh, yeah, really really crazy offers. Just figured I should mention that. Running into some freaking issues with these Dinotheriums coming at me, but we currently have uh, what is that? Uh, 213 wishbones. Obviously, that, that didn't take very long at all. Um, super surprised about that. It can't have anything to do with gather rates, by the way, because I've been getting, like, random amounts between 3 and 5, and I would say probably, like, the average is around 4, so it, I don't know. They, they made it a lot easier to get, truly. I mean, like, definitely was two Wishbones last year, and maybe even one the year before, if I remember correctly. Probably not. But anyway, I mean, like, that that's incredible. I, I'm, I'm curious why they did that, and I've been thinking that maybe it has something to do with the fact that this is probably the last turkey trial, and they want pretty much everybody to at least experience it in all of its glory, which means, you know, getting your own Dota Rex for, like, a half an hour, even if you just want to mess around with it. It's still pretty cool to just get and, and use a little bit, so I don't know. But, uh, yeah, that's... Uh, that's that's pretty much going to be their last uh, turkey trial proper one at least i don't know if they're going to enable the events on uh, official next year but you know the events are still going to be there on server partners like g portal it's a really easy uh thing that you can just enable i mean it doesn't even need to be thanksgiving or christmas or whenever to enable these events which is cool so um yeah that's really really handy that that freaking Denonicus looks like Poe. It's got like the lime green color, the same as Poe. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm working away. We've almost got the full 400. I mean, like we're gonna have it really soon. Maybe I'll wait till the morning though, cause obviously it's gonna get a lot harder to see these turkeys at nighttime. But yeah, this is crazy, man. I, I'm very surprised that they did that. Like it's way too easy to get it right now. It's not that OP, but it's still pretty cool to have. I mean, you know, unofficial, I guess in PVP, you could just chuck it at somebody's base and it would wear down their turrets a good amount. I don't know if it would be worth it, but it still could be decent. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we're going to continue this, um, and I'll probably just bring you guys back once we have it all done. Look at that. I've already got 221 now. Damn. So the wishbone collecting has been going very, very good. Um, I haven't been doing it for much longer, and we've already got uh, 506 in total. And I know that is more than 400. It surprised me, too. But here's the thing. Um... I thought of an idea that I want to actually go for, and that would involve me not actually being able to summon in a Dota Rex here today, because I want to try and get 10. <laughs> yeah, um, we're going to go a little bit insane this year, but that's going to, I'm going to need to be collecting for probably at least another full day before I'm going to have 4,000 wishbones to be able to summon in some dodo rexes with and um yeah that is uh that's just the way things are gonna have to happen because trust me this other idea is absolutely insane and i think it might actually work for us i don't know we'll see if it doesn't work it's gonna make for a hilarious moment in another video but it kind of sucks because I, I actually i do want to do one thing before we end off this one i want to find a giga real quick um, it does suck because I did want to actually try and get a Dota Rex for this one, but um, this this other idea with the Dota Rexes could be pretty epic. Now, I have tested it out, and it is possible to actually summon in more than one Dota Rex uh, at a time. I figured that maybe once you had one out, it wouldn't allow you to get another, so I did do some testing uh, in some single player, and uh, it is possible. So I'm hoping that we can get a full 10, and then just we can level the crap out of them real quick if we prepare some babies and and everything we just hatch them all up and get the dota rexes to eat them level them all up and then we're going to do something really really cool with all 10 of them and hopefully it's going to lead to uh to a good outcome i i guess is probably the best way of saying it uh okay giga spawn over here it's kind of weird using a mana to get around the map i haven't done this in a while it's been a hot minute uh do we have any gigas here today there's usually gigas i mean there could be a karch now today potentially but yeah, so it is unfortunate. I'm not going to be able to... Uh, I mean, I could still do it today, but it would be a waste to pull in a Dota Rex and then basically do nothing with it. So uh, definitely need to um, to save all the wishbones and, and go for that in a different video. But um, yeah, I just... I'm really disappointed I didn't think of this any sooner. Do we not have a Giga here today? Okay, well, I do know another spot. We have another spot very, very close. It's like right over here-ish. I think it's actually technically more in this direction. Oh, wait, no, 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 it's here cool well anyway um yeah so i i do feel disappointed i didn't think of doing this uh sooner because if i did 
think of this i probably could have had this video done by today i wouldn't have played so much pokemon it would have happened but um i thought of it when i was collecting the wishbones and it's the perfect idea and it needs to happen so we're doing it it's just you, you, give me a few days give me a few days to get it done anyway um let me quickly just find a giga so we can go ahead and just laser beam that thing out of existence honestly i could probably laser beam a titanosaur out of existence as well uh, i just obviously they don't spawn on this map we do have an alpha over here though hello what is this alpha carno hello buddy and you will die there you go okay level 30 amazing he's dead already oh that's a beautiful carno wow okay oh we got a giga here now hello uh that's not my spyglass you know what it probably doesn't even matter i'm just gonna kill him anyway uh here we go boom okay he's gonna be frozen for a little bit and we're gonna have to move back probably now and aim for his head <gasps> okay yeah we gotta watch out for the hits because we can't actually continue our ice breath if he hits me um he's not gonna be frozen again for a little bit come on buddy come on we gotta kill this thing i should totally be able to do this i mean he's not doing that much damage obviously but the bleed is what you really uh you gotta watch out for when it comes to gigas like this uh come on buddy and oh, i can't tell is he close he's super dark looking so it's really hard to tell uh I'm trying to see now it's all just icy i can't even see a thing come on buddy die already <laughs> look at this thing oh my god okay wait wait maybe we can just oh yeah yeah i got him frozen again perfect okay let's just keep spamming this at him i don't even know how much damage we're doing right now he's probably got like 100k damage potentially or health even uh we just keep doing it like this I want to actually check his health when he's dead there we go it was a 108 we got a giga heart of course and uh let's see what were you you had 80,000 health pretty good i mean considering he kept interrupting me like when i was attacking him that's that's uh still pretty good that we actually managed to take him out that quick damn all right well cool anyway that is gonna be it for today's video again i'm sorry that we uh that we're not going to be getting to actually get the dota rex in this video but it will be worth the wait trust me um it's gonna be pretty epic but again i need a couple days it's not something i can just pull out of my ass today um i mean potentially i might be able to but i would probably be very tired after all the turkey searching but anyway yes that is it for today if you have enjoyed this one go ahead do me a favor hit the like button let me know what you think about my mana down below really love these colors definitely definitely one of the coolest manas i've ever made and uh yeah that is it i'll catch you in the next one when we do that really cool idea yay syntax gonna actually get it done. <laughs>